Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic. We are going to do ratio analysis, liquidity ratios from ratio analysis, right? So what is liquidity? This question bhi ek bar aaya tha exams mein. What do you mean by liquidity? Liquidity means a firm's ability. Let me just write that for you. A firm's ability to pay off its debts. Okay, that's what liquidity is the firm's ability to pay off its debts. Okay. So when we are talking about liquidity ratios, that means the firm we are going to quantify we are going to calculate karne wale hai, how a firm can, uh, you know, pay off its uh, debts in the short period of time in short run, short run may kaise pay off kar sakte hai using its assets, right? So we are going to calculate three important ratios. My name is Raman Deep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years and PNB SO credit officer course has been started where you can get the video classes, notes, quizzes, test series and the live sessions link to join the course is available in the description. Okay. And my WhatsApp number is also available in the description. So students give it a close look, quick assets uh, versus current assets. The assets which can be converted into cash within 90 days, those are quick assets. Those are quick assets. So also known as uh, liquid assets, but quick assets generally is ko bola jata hai, right? What are current assets? Assets which can be converted to cash within one year. So these are current assets. Good examples of quick assets cash and cash equivalents, marketable securities and account receivables or debtors hai, or debtors. So these are the three main uh, kinds of quick assets, cash and cash equivalents, bank balance we have right? So it is cash equivalent only marketable securities like stocks and gold, etc. Uh, account receivable or debtors. So what are Current assets, current assets includes all the quick assets plus inventory. Inventory may not be sometimes inventory may not be sold within 90 days, it may take more than 90 days. Inventory, prepaid expenses, short term investments. So all these are current assets, but not quick assets. So please remember that. So let's start a topic with quick ratio. Quick ratio is a type of liquidity ratio that determines a company's capacity to meet its short term liabilities or debt with the quick assets. With quick assets, it is also known as acid test ratio. Please remember that it is also known as acid test ratio. It determines a company's ability to meet its short term liabilities with most liquid assets. So simple formula quick assets is equal to quick assets divided by current liabilities quick as uh, quick ratio is equal to quick assets divided by current liabilities ye quick ratio find out karne ka simple formula you will be able to understand more with the help of an example inventories are not part of quick assets inventory a current asset hai, but quick asset nahi hai because it cannot be converted into cash quickly a quick cash uh, ratio of one implies the company has capabilities to fulfill its Im uh, immediate debt, right? So if it is less than one, that means the company doesn't have enough quick assets to cover its short term liabilities. And if it is more than one, that means company is comfortably, you know, liquid company has a lot of quick assets to cover its uh, short term liabilities. So please remember these very important interpretations. So ideal quick ratio is one, generally it's one, something more than one, one, 1.2, 1 1.3, it's good. Okay. So itna yaad rakhna aapko, this is important that inventory is not part of quick asset. Generally exam mein yehi aata hai. Okay. So let's move forward. Okay. Uh, Messrs ABC has quick assets worth 520 crores and current liabilities of 500 crores. 
the quick ratio is 520 divided by 500 it is 1.04 and that's the correct answer okay the following information is available about Messrs X, Y, Z. Find the quick ratio of the firm. So now give it a close look. At these kind of questions are asked in the paper. Quick ratio, you have to find out. Karni is mese very exam oriented questions. See students, is mese quick assets kon kon se hain. Uh, account receivables are quick assets. Cash balance is quick asset, right? So these are quick assets. Okay. Now what are uh, the current liabilities, bills payable, it's current liability, tax payable, current liability, bank borrowing, all these are current liabilities. So we just need to uh, find it out, right? So quick assets, account receivable 400, cash balance 50. So account receivable and a cash balance, inventory is not a quick asset. So 450 crore quick asset. Current liability may tax uh, bill payable 250 tax payable 150 right uh, yep and bank borrowing 225 so 425 ka aapka current liability so you can easily find out the quick ratio this is exam oriented question these kind of questions are asked in the paper yehi poochha jata hai bar bar har bar right so current ratio and quick ratio is 1.8 and 0.95 find out the ratio between quick and current ratio uh, these kind of questions are generally not asked but ek cheez ka dhyan rakhna hai if current ratio is given quick ratio is given generally the difference uh, between these is only inventory generally inventory ka hi difference hota hai so we'll do similar questions in the future so what is current ratio so current ratio is a type of liquidity ratio determines company's capacity to meet its short term liabilities with its current assets right it is also known as working capital ratio so current ratio is equal to current assets divided by current liabilities so we have already understood the current assets assets that can be converted to cash within one year within one year these are current assets right so a current ratio is of one means a company is just able to meet uh, has enough assets to meet its short term liabilities. If it is less than one, that means a company does not have enough current assets to meet its current liability. And if it is more than one, that means a company is uh, having surplus amount of funds. So ideal current ratio is anything more than one, 1 1.5 to it's, it's all comfortable to the companies. Okay. So easily you can calculate uh, Messrs ABC reported current assets of 50 crore, current liability 45 crore. So current asset divided by current liability, you can easily find out the current ratio. Okay. Now here is a kind of question you will find in the exam. You need to find out current ratio from this particular uh, information provided. So account bill receivable, it's a current asset. Inventory is a current asset. Cash balance is a current asset. Bills payable current liability, tax payable current liability, bank borrowing current liability. So 500 plus 125, 625 plus 56, 75, right? So current liabilities uh, 250 plus 110 plus uh, 350, 360 plus 25, I guess 385, right? So 675 divided by 385, 1.75 is a current ratio. And that's your answer. That's very important for your exam. Moving forward to the cash ratio. So cash ratio means uh, the company's ability to meet its short term liabilities or debt only with the cash. So cash ratio is equal to cash or and cash equivalent divided by the current liabilities. So a cash ratio of one means a company has enough uh, cash with itself to meet its current liabilities, right? If it is less than one company doesn't have enough cash. If it is more than one, that means the company ha has surplus cash. Okay. Tradable securities, short term deposits, bank balance, cash uh, available in the bank balance. They are all considered as cash and cash equivalent short term deposit. For example, liquid mutual funds, they are all considered as uh, cash and cash equivalent. Okay. So uh, ideally cash ratio is one, if it is less than one indicates the company is in bad shape. Okay. So cash ratio is the best measure of the liquidity. Okay, the, ca uh, the cash ratio is the best measure of the uh, liquidity. 
सो लेट्स डू सम क्वेश्चन द सेम क्वेश्चन मैसेज ए बी सी हैज़ करंट एसेट्स ऑफ फाइव ट्वेंटी आउट ऑफ विच कैश एक्लेंट्स आर थ्री हंड्रेड करोर्स लाइबिलिटीज आर फाइव हंड्रेड करोर्स सो कैश रेशियो इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड करोर्स डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव हंड्रेड करोर सो पॉइंट सिक्स इज अ कैश रेशियो सो लेट्स डू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पॉज अ वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन योर सेल्फ ट्राई टू डू दिस ओके इफ यू आर एबल टू डू दिस ओके जस्ट गिव इट अ ट्राई pause the video and try to do it yourself now okay just give it a try so here um, cash balance is 150 and uh, marketable security is under it so these are cash and cash equivalents so current liabilities bills payable and uh, tax payable these are current liabilities okay so 200 ka current liability hai and uh, 250 ka hamare paas uh, this is the cash uh, the cash and cash equivalents so 250 divided by 200 1.25 is a cash ratio so easy to do i hope you understood the today's class uh, if there is any doubt in your mind you can ask your doubts this is my whatsapp number and pnbso credit officer course we have already started uh, you can get all the previous sessions in your dashboard we are providing the complete video classes notes quizzes live session test series weekly quizzes and interview preparation course uh, everything is part of the the full bundle that we are providing link is available in the description check the description okay so list of our successful students who cracked the exam using a study material in the past and and i'm really really happy for them all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye